Good morning, Visionary fam. Welcome back to another video. So you guys have seen the title and thumbnail of this video. You know what it's going to be about. But first off, you guys know that we've been trying to get a little uh, a shade tarp on the pool pond just so that it creates more shade so there's not as much algae growing because the heat UV from the sun kind of goes on the water, goes on the, on the pond, turns the water green a little and just creates algae, which we don't want. So here are the posts that we're actually going to be cutting and using but we actually found a way simpler way than cementing it into the ground and we found this little umbrella stand and what we're actually going to do is just put it the tube right in there it's going to go up we have a connector there we have one there 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 you kind of see them all along there and there, there's the tarp and we're just going to cut it so it's at about six feet in height put it down there lock it up i need to get a little uh, uh a screwdriver sort of wrench to uh, tighten it so it fits the width of that pole but otherwise I've been trying to clean this up a little bit that's why it's kind of spotty but once we get this all over it I'm gonna use a scrubber and then just scrub everything and maybe do a small water change and guys I can't tell you much right now but I did just order some new fish uh, that are gonna get really big in the future so stay tuned that's gonna be coming this this week because it's Monday when I'm posting this, but I gotta go fix that. We gotta we gotta work on this and finally get this cover settled for the pond. We, I've been putting it off for weeks. Okay, so um, while we were trying to set this up, uh, let me kind of show you what we did, but we're gonna need to get a new tarp because it ripped. So this is what we got. We're gonna bury this in just till that is all covered up. And then we're going to cut it to about here and then we'll attach it there 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 and again it will be right here so we just got to cut it a little bit and i tested the water and it's almost done for fish uh we are getting some new fish that are kind of going in here within this week but not like big fish so stay tuned for that turn on your post notifications but we're gonna have to find some other tarp for this but we got this down all we need is maybe some new hooks and the actual tarp uh, one that works that doesn't break and then after that the whole thing will be set up uh, the whole tarp and everything so literally the hardest part is pretty much done now hello my children how are you hey don't run from me we got live there in the back hi maddie i uh, filled the water up a little bit but uh let's take them out and feed them so if you guys know my system i fill this bin up with a little bit of water all right a little bit of dechlorinator mix it up dechlorinate it and then we're gonna grab our little suckers hopefully without them biting us lives sometimes uh this is our red belly cooter which for some reason has started biting me recently uh has tried to and then maddie has always kind of been scared of me so, oh and then we got maddie our uh, yellow belly slider and uh, they'll just chill out here get some aquatic turtle food i like one by uh this other company i have but this is the one i have on hand by zoomed and and uh, Maddie's chump in there. She had some. Liv's gonna find it now. There we go. Switching it up a little bit. So today I'm actually gonna be going and checking one of the traps that I still have out that's been left there for a really long time, maybe close to a week. And we're also gonna actually go head over to the turtle pond where we're gonna try and catch some turtles because our weather's been warming up. It's like probably 65, 70 right now. It feels a little hotter, which is why I think there's gonna be some turtles out there and there's gonna be some more turtles in the future. So let me know if you guys want more turtle catching videos like this. So drop a comment down below and let's go. All right, guys, we're back over here at our little creek area. And as you can tell, our little stick holding our trap is right there. So we're gonna set you up and we're actually gonna see if there's anything here. If not, we're gonna take it back, but we're also gonna go catch some turtles. So stay tuned. All right, guys, we're here at the pond and there's actually a wall. I'm gonna show you a quick view of, I think one, two, three, four, five six i think i see seven turtles there which the chances are they're gonna see me before i catch any but we are here trying to catch some turtles for you guys some new turtle content comment down below if you want to see more turtles and there could be some babies we catch and maybe keep someday i don't know but let's go put you on the gopro i'll see ya all right guys here we go there's about seven of them here and we're just here trying to inspect them catch them i've done this before 
I used to come to this pond all the time. If you're new here, it's summer now, warmer weather, so you'll probably see this area a lot more often. But we're trying to sort of catch up on them, get a little sneak peek, and uh, I'm definitely gonna catch some. There's some right here. Here's one. All right, so there is one. Now, now we're just getting started on this adventure, but here's one, a uh, little red-eared slider, nice and healthy, probably about four years old, maybe five. Uh, very healthy, I'll bring the big camera out if we get something special, but very nice red stripes, very distinct features. I'll get a photo of them, but let's let them go. Here you go. All right, let's catch another. I gotta grab my polarized glasses. If you're not, if you're either a fisherman, if you're fishing, catching turtles, polarized glasses are key because they will help you see further into the water. You can see turtles all around here and there's actually two big koi out here that I eventually do want to try to catch somehow. So if we see the koi, then let me know if we should try to catch it and keep it. This is probably the same turtle. Uh, there's the turtle running along the edge. I don't know right if you can see right there. I keep this net for bigger ones. And if there's small turtles I can't catch, like babies that will slide through the hole of this net, that's why I carry this one. And I could go on the style approach, but there are some, they're all out. You can see bigger ones floating around. There's one there. I haven't seen too many geese here before. There's some geese popping up, but I could go with a sneaky approach, go on up on the edge and ambush them. But this is a lot more fun, quick, easy way. Not as stressful to catch them. I just go around and net what I can find. Now this is a key spot right here. Haven't seen any turtles yet. There's a whole area here where a bunch of turtles are and apparently a lot of birds too. I can see all the way around here and I do not see anything. Oh, there was one. Oh yeah, it's a baby. It's a... All right. Well, it's not a baby. So there are a lot of birds, but no, don't come back. But here we go, guys. This is a nice little red-eared slider, probably about the same age and size as our previous one we caught. Very nice pattern, has a little bit of a damage on the shell. But overall, very cute turtle. Let's let him go. All right, there we go. Give them a little time to breathe before they hop back in. There we go. No, I do have to watch out because there are some big koi in here. I have actually caught a huge bass with just a net here before. So there's a lot of things that are in here that you may not think are in here. Like a bass, there could just be a bass crawled up right against here. Here along this side is normally where the koi are. So there's a chance we'll get a peek at one. Ah, uh, there was a turtle right there. And sometimes you can just catch them swimming along where they don't see you. So that's, that's another way too. I don't see any koi yet. Sometime I've seen them along here. Oh, there's a turtle right in there I saw. And there are some big bass in here too. Sometimes I've seen the big koi literally right up here to where I'm able to net it, but I wasn't able to, and sometimes they're swimming farther out. The last time I was able to actually have a chance to net it, it was laying up against this rocks, these rocks right here. Whoa. This whole area right here, you should be full of lily pads, absolutely full of them. It looks like they died off and there would be some bass just hugging up against here, but there's nothing here right now. You're okay, oh my gosh. You're so dramatic. Quacky, come on. Oh, there was a turtle right up here. I can see the splash where it came down. Sometimes they'll be wandering in here and they won't see you, but let's take one more lap around and see if we can get anything more. So there's one up here that actually almost looks like a yellow belly uh, slider. His ears are more yellow. So we're gonna have to sneak up on these guys, take a good photo for the thumbnail. There's also a turtle right there I'm not being able to catch, but let's try to get up on him here. All right, I see like two of them. All right, well, we didn't get the big one, but 
We, we got another ready to slider. All right, let's let him get one last breath and then go in. There we go. Was there one right here? Oh, there is. There's a baby right here. Oh, yeah. Well, it's not a baby, but it is a very young slider. This is actually probably one of the babies from last year is my guess. Uh, let's get him on the big camera. So this is most likely one of the babies from last year. He's only about two to three inches in length. Uh, so he's probably about one or two years old is my guess. He could be three, but my guess is around one or two years old. A nice little cute guy. Appears to be very healthy. Appears to be a red eared slider. So there we go. All right, let's let him go. I saw some air bubbles. There you go. I saw some little bubbles and then I saw him crawling on the bottom. All right, no more turtles, but we had a fun time. So let's go to the pet store, see what they got over there. All right, so it's quite a bit later, but update, we can't go to the pet store, but let me show you a few other things we have going on at the house. So here is the no filter tank. I need to uh, probably do a small water change and raise the level up a little bit. But some of you guys said that these snails right here could eat some of the plants. I haven't seen that yet. If they did, I probably would end up taking them out, but the snails are all doing good. The tank is looking pretty good too. Hello, 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 I see you. Yes, you're crazy, you're crazy puppets. And tortoise tank. I really need, I really do need to go out and get some new organic soil and some rep bark for that guy. So let me know if you guys wanna see that video. But this week guys, we have, I can't say that much, but we have new fish coming. So please stay tuned, it's gonna be awesome. There's gonna be multiple videos on it, whole other setups, big update videos for them coming up. So stay tuned, they should be here the latest by Thursday possibly Tuesday. All right, so out here, I don't know if you can see it, but we have, we have the aquascape pond there. I tested that water out today, and it's not doing too bad. Uh, definitely fine, uh, but maybe uh, maybe one or two more water changes in one or two weeks, it should be perfect for fish. No, like zero ammonia. There is a tiny bit, but that shouldn't hurt too much. Uh, but a little bit of ammonia can hurt fish, which is why. Four, I wanna get fish into in it, and I do like full big water changes. I just want to, and when it gets warmer, I just want to do full, because like, it's warming up, which means we'll be getting a lot more fish soon. And I'm also trying to save for a plane ticket to Florida. Um, so yeah, that might happen in June, possibly. If not, they have them in different locations later in the year, so I will be going to one eventually. But this pond is, both of the ponds are very near done cycling. Well, this one's already cycled. I just need to do a water change. The other one is kind of cycling, and I might need another water change on that too. But I hope you all enjoyed today's video. Positive comment shout out, boom, right there. I hope you enjoy your little positive comment shout out. Uh, if you want a little shout out in the next video, all you have to do is put a positive comment down below. And the Bible verse of the day is popping up here, right here. I like to share my faith with you guys, and this is an easy way where I can do it. So my name is David. This is Fish Visions. Find your vision and follow it. Be a visionary today and subscribe. And I will see you beautiful people next video. Peace.